get this done. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is it morning already? Yes. yes. Very good. So, what we want to talk today about, first of all, I am glad to meet everybody. Wow. Oh, that was good, that was good. Wonderful, very good. So it's good to see everybody in person. Last time I was here in December, just to visit. Any of you were here? No. no. Not yet. No. No. People that were here spoke Japanese. Yes. <laughs> right? Okay, very good. Any of you speak Japanese? No. No. Okay, that's good. But English you do? Yes. yes. Very good. So I see you once a week on Thursday, and some of you I see on Wednesday, and some of you I see on Monday. Right? So I see you three times a week on TV. Today it's in person, that's good. They wanted to ask if they can get an autograph. <laughs> autograph. <laughs> Very good. So how many of us today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are you working already or not yet? Thirteen? We have two so more outside. Three more. Thirteen. And three you work you came from Red Sky? No. No. No, 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 no. Okay. You worked in Red Sky? Yes. You see no, me there? Up. Up. It's One. In December, were you there? No, no she's new in Red Sky. She new. Here. You worked there. Okay. All right. Very good. So, it's very important that we will record everything. We will record it. And it's very important that we will all be successful, right? Yes. Very important. Now, to be successful in what we are doing is like to be successful in anything else. Being successful is not easy. Doesn't matter what you do. If you want to lose weight, if you want to run fast, if you want to play the piano very well, or if you want to make appointments, it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If everybody would do it, we will not have a job. <laughs> so it's good that it is not easy. Because only the ones who are very professional and very good are making it. And the ones who make it should be us. We have been doing it for many, many years in home improvement and in solar. And we know exactly what needs to be done in order to be successful. So there is no secret here. Number one, we all need to treat this as a business, as science not an art. There is a methodology exactly how to do it. And that's how we need to do it. There are not two ways. There is one way. And many people say, let's see how it works. Let's change a little bit here. Change there. Do it this way. Do it that way. doesn't work. There is one way that it will work. And I'm going to explain to you from beginning to end, so you understand. And if you understand, then what's left is to do it. If you want to run fast, you need to be light, you need to practice, you need to focus, and it takes time to become fast. If you want to be a good violinist, same thing. And if you want to be able to make appointments, it's the same thing. But people make the mistake. They come and say, let's give it a few days and see how it goes. Nothing goes. You have to make it happen in anything you do. So there is no difference between what we do here and success in anything else. Most people in the world are not successful. 
And there is a good reason why they are not successful. Very good reason. They do not look at things in a scientific manner. They don't prepare. They don't apply everything they have. They don't work very hard, they, they are not consistent, they don't learn it. There are reasons. It's not a mystery. We work in a very unique industry. When you sell people stocks over the phone, you don't do any good for the people on the other side of the line. When you sell them insurance, cars, jewelry, all kind of stuff. You make money if they buy, but they don't. They pay money. In our business, when a customer does the work, they make money. They make money. And you need to understand that everybody that buys a system make money. There are very strict rules in the United States and in California. If the customer does not make money, you cannot sell them. They check it. Let's say you want to finance. Most of the people don't pay cash for the system. They finance it. And the people who finance it check how much electricity they used before and how much electricity they used now. And you cannot sell them a system larger than what they need. And they check their credit and the utility company, the electric company is involved, and the city is involved. Everybody is involved to protect the customer. So if they do work with us, they make money. A lot of money. So if I'll give you an example here. If you go online, anybody can go online and put in electric rate increase California, you will see, I don't know if I need to bring it or the camera can see it from there. Let's put it here. In the past 20 years, electric rate increased on an average 10% a year. We say 7% a year. 7% every year on an average. It's like the stock market. It goes up 7% a year. So let's say you are paying today $100 a month in electricity. You pay every month on an average for the year, you pay $100. And today is year zero. Right? If it increases 7%, next year they'll pay 107, right? Yes. That's year one. Then year two, year three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can calculate, but you will see that in year ten you reach here 200. And then you'll continue 11 all the way to year 20. And it will be here, 400. That's what people pay today for electricity if they have only $100. That's very little. The average household pays more, but doesn't matter. So they'll pay in, over the next 20 years, their average will be $200 a month. 
Two hundred dollars a month for one year is how much? Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four hundred dollars. Twenty-four hundred. Times twenty. Uh, four. Four thousand. Forty-eight. Forty-eight thousand dollars. in the next 20 years. That's what they'll pay in the U.S. Very little house. My house, for example, is $500 a month. This is very little house. $48,000. That's if it is only 7% a year. The rate is much more than that, the increase. Now, it is true for everything. In the Philippines, is the same thing. If you'll ask your mother, how old is your mother? 48. 48. Still ask her how much she paid for one loaf of bread 30 years ago. You will see the rate increase. Everything goes up. Yes. Yep. Gasoline, everything goes up. And electricity go up also. So if, you, if I, the deal you make is you go to the customer and say, look, instead of paying $100 for Edison, that's the name of a utility company, for example, pay $120 or between $100 and $150 a month and put a solar system on your roof. And now, you will pay $125, let's say, for the next 20 years. Instead of 200, you'll pay only 125. This doesn't change. Because that'll be your monthly for the That's equipment. it, for 20 years. And after 20 years, how much you'll pay? Zero. Because you, now you, you, own, own, it. you own it now. now. Like you buy a house. No, you own it. So your neighbor who said, I don't want to pay 125, I want to pay 100. For two, 20 years, he'll pay an average of 200. And after that, he'll pay much more when you pay nothing. So you own your own electricity. It's like you rent an apartment, and every year they raise your rent, right? Or you own the house, and you pay the bank for 20 or 30 years, and after that, it's yours. Meanwhile, the value of your house goes up, right? A house in Makati 20 years ago was less than today, right? So that's what we offer people. Do not, you, we don't sell them something and they pay now all of a sudden they have a payment of $125. They're already paying 100 So it's like switching between cell phone carriers, okay? Right. I have AT&T, now I switch to Sprint. Or here in the Philippines, you switch to another one. So you switch now to own. Now you own it, and here you rent it. So we are making them a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Figure out the difference of about $100 over 20 years. Is a thousand dollars every year for 20 years, $20,000 in their pocket. $23,000. In their pocket. This is $25,000 for 20 years. And years. after that, it's much more. Right. So I. <clears throat> Usually tell the customer, look customer, I have a contract here, and here is a business card of a psychiatrist. You don't buy, go see a psychiatrist. It's stupid not to buy. <laughs> That's the very unique business we so smart because the government want to help the people buy solar. So they say to them, <clears throat> from this, don't pay tax to us. For 30% of this, yes, tax rebate. Instead of paying us tax, pay this. One third, so $40 here, 
if you didn't pay to the solar, you would pay the government. So actually, you are paying only $75, right, from your pocket. Everything else, you would pay the government anyways, in taxes. The government help you. They want you to use solar. Why they want you to use solar? Why? Uh, they wanted to uh, make the entire California energy efficient. Yes, but why? Yes, that's true. Why? Why? How? Yes, how save the world? How? How does it save the world? You don't need zero emission. Zero emission. How do we, this electricity, where does it come from? Power plants. Where? Power plants. Power plants. How do you get this, the power plant work? Nuclear reactors. Well, it's a mix of uh, some geothermal, but there are a lot, a lot are uh, diesel fed uh, generators. Yes, diesel, coal, yes, coal mainly. And coal create a lot of emissions. Not even the world, but in California, in Manila, how much emission you have? Ridiculous. Very dirty. <laughs> you go to Los Angeles, 35 years ago, it was like Manila. But then they made the laws and changed. So now it's very clean. So California want to make it clean so people, so the, your children and your grandchildren don't get so sick from it. And the environment, the, the temperature of the world, the oh, water go up, everything go up is not good. That's why the state of California say, don't pay us taxes. 30% of that, keep in your pocket, pay them. But if you didn't do that, you would pay us. So we are making the people a lot of money. A lot of money. So the question is, of course, before I move on, you must know that you do something very good. So when the customers hang up and da 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 da, da okay, but you at least try to do good for them. Yes. They need to breathe the air, their children, their grandchildren, and they put money in their pocket. Okay. So why they are not all making appointments? Why? Who knows? Why they are not all making appointments? Change. What change? They're not ready to embrace change. Okay, they're afraid of a change. Okay. In order to say we don't want to change, they first need to listen to you. All right? But most of the people don't even listen to you. Right? Yeah. Your biggest problem is not that they don't want to do what you offer them. The biggest problem is that they don't listen. They don't listen. And it doesn't matter what you do. You can offer them anything you want. They, will, they don't listen. And that's... So the issue you have to overcome is to cause people to listen to you. That's it. You see, we scientifically look at the problem. They don't listen. People in the United States and people all over the world, from the day they are very young, their parents tell them, don't talk to strangers. They'll kidnap you, they'll give you poison candy, They'll do bad things to you. I don't know if it's here in the Philippines, but in the U.S., everybody grows up like that. When you call them, you are a complete stranger. And women also. They, they have such a big thing in, in near Los Angeles. A nurse took a baby from the hospital because she couldn't have children. She stole a baby. Only now, 25 years later, they found out. She took a baby. So they're afraid of everybody. That's how it is. 
So people hear a stranger, somebody they don't know, they don't want to talk. That's your biggest problem. And it's not only in the United States, it's all over the world. So here, we need to focus all our attention on how to make the people listen. If they listen, you'll have a lot of appointments. You talk to people on the phone. When, a, when a, a, an agent gets into the house, the customer cannot hang up the phone on them. They are in the house. But when you're on the phone, they can just hang up. And people get a lot of calls for everything. They don't even they don't care what you call for. You call something on the phone, I don't want to talk to you. A million things. So we need to now scientifically understand how to get people to listen. So first of all, we all must understand that people, all of us, we have in our genetic abilities, we have the ability to very quickly judge someone. Right? For thousands of years, millions of years, animals, humans needed to know quickly if that thing that I see there is dangerous or a friend. And we develop the ability to do that, right? You, we are in Africa a uh, hundred thousand years ago and we see a lion walk, very skinny lion. Some people said, well, cute cat, let's go pet him. They became lunch. <laughs> Others ran up the tree. We are the descendants of the ones who ran up the tree, not the one that went to pet the lion. So we learn very quickly how to judge. And people on the phone judge you very quickly. Very quickly. You know in how long? How long does it take somebody to judge you on the phone? Do I want to talk to this lady or not? How long? Five to ten seconds. Five, Five to ten seconds. seconds. That's it. So all your focus have to be on how you appear in the first five to ten seconds. Every call. What happened in the five to ten seconds? How do you influence them to listen to you in the first five to ten seconds? Is your voice. <clears throat> do you talk slow? When people talk fast, you think they want to hide something. Yes. When people talk fast, you don't understand what they are saying. Yeah. So you need to talk slow. You need to talk with a lot of positive energy. The people on the other side of the line don't care if you just had an argument with your boyfriend or girlfriend or parent or dog. If you go now to McDonald's and order food and the guy there doesn't serve you the food and you ask him what's going on, he says, well, I had an argument with my parent. You don't care. If you, you're working, serve me right. So when you talk to people on the phone, Nobody cares how many problems we all have. They want to know that you are focused only on them. And the energy that comes out of you, tell them that. That's a judgment that people make. So if you talk slow, you're very clear, with a lot of positive energy, and you stick to the pitch exactly, that's your best chance. Because a speech is designed to say the words that will make people listen. Right? Who know, who can tell me the beginning of the speech? Who? Hi, the reason I'm calling is um, the California uh, 
Hold Please. on, hold on. I need it to be perfect. Somebody have it in front of you? The reason I'm calling is your home has come up to probably qualify for the new California energy programs. And many people in the commission side say this is not a sales call. Relax. This is not a sales call. The reason I'm calling is because your home came up to possibly qualify you. So it's very important to do it exactly. So if you do it slow, if you do it clear, if you do it with energy, and if you say the words exactly, you have a much higher chance to succeed. Okay? Now I want to explain to you what does it mean a much higher chance to succeed. What does it mean? That everyone will say yes? No. Every other one will say yes? No. Every fifth one will say yes? No. Every tenth one will no. say yes? No. Every fifty people, one will say yes. And you will get two leads a day because you talk to a hundred people in a whole ship. Two leads a day is fantastic. Two leads a day. If you do it very, very good. So what you need to do when you come in here is say, in the management, always have to remind, we do good for the people. We do good for the environment. We make money to the people and clean the environment. What's wrong with that? And you need to say, the problem is that people do not listen to us. So what do we do? We talk slow, clear, with a lot of positive energy, and say the words exactly. And you need to say. And you need to start say your speech. And you know 100% of the time that when you say your speech, what will happen? That 98% of the folks will say no. They'll say no. But 100% of the people will do what? No? They will not. If 100% of them hang up, we have no business. But 100% of the people will give us objections. Right? Everyone will give us objections. Even the buyers. Even the buyers, of course. That's the key. That the two out of 100 it will not go smooth. Who made? Who just made an appointment? You made just an appointment? Yeah. Did it go smooth? As you called, they said, thank God you are calling. I was waiting for you all evening, all morning. Tell me, what is it that you want me to agree to? Is that how the call went? No. No. What did you have to do? Turn the camera a little bit. What did you have to do? How did, what, did they say any, did they give you any objection? Uh, a lot, actually. Okay, so tell us, tell us how did the call go? Yeah, you uh, called in. Yeah, he called in at the very beginning. Uh, the customer is very hesitant uh, in, in talking to me because um, she's actually old, 95 years old, and she's alone at home. So probably at the very beginning, I, I pitched, I started the, what we're doing, explained what's happening, and called. So again, uh, I, I keep on pushing that the main purpose of this is to help them out in reducing the monthly payment that they're paying in the electricity bill. And uh, the other uh, objection is she's alone at home and she has a decision maker, which is uh, the son or the daughter cannot come in and attend the appointment. So what I did in here, I, because I already feel that she really needs it and she really wants the solar panel, I inform her that at the very beginning she is incident. I'm not sure that my daughter will be here, my son will be there, will be here as well. But she really wants a technician to come over. But since we have some qualification that a decision maker will be there, I inform her that we don't have too much time in here. I value my time as well. I just need a confirmation from you that we need to make sure that your son will be there to attend to, to attend an appointment. And then she agreed into it. 
And the other thing about um, what role the technician will be doing there um, at their place, then I explain it that just you know to check everything, uh, and it goes okay at the end. How long did you have to talk to her? It was it the lady? Yeah, yeah. How did you long? How long did you talk to her in order to get the appointment? Maybe around eight to ten minutes. Okay, eight to ten minutes, and she gave you one objection after the other. Yeah, and I got the the buying signal when I actually placed her her in all, like for a minute or two, and when I came back, she's patiently waiting. So I got a buying signal that she's really interested in the wedding. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. All right. So now we say that from 100 people, 98 will give us no. Yes. After all the fight, it will be no. Two will give us yes, but it will take a fight still. Yes. Zero, zero will say no problem. Come on over. If somebody does not give you any problem and say come on over, don't take their point because something is wrong with them yep. and we, they will not qualify they will not qualify so don't waste your time if somebody say yes 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 they don't know what they are talking about don't make their point so 98 that's when you are very good but one two a day per person is that good yeah. good 98 will say no you will fight and fight. Out of the 98, many will just hang up on you. Some will cast you out and then hang up on you. Right? Yes. And two, 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 you will make a point here if you do it perfect. And these two you'll have to fight for. That's the job. That's what we call success. That's the job. <coughs> so your first 10 seconds are crucial. And then you have 10 more seconds. <coughs> and 10 more seconds. Until you get 5 to 10 minutes. And you can make an appointment. But you have to be very professional. You have to know your speech very well. Yes. You have to know every objection. People don't make up objections. If you know 20 objections, you know everything. They'll never make anything else. And by the way, all the 20 objections, maybe there are a couple of relevant ones. They want to know who you are and what you do. But everything else is only they afraid of you. You did not show them that there is enough reason to make an appointment. That's it. Because are you selling to them something? Do you sell anything? Mm -hmm. Can you take money from them on the phone? No. No. no? So, Mrs. Smith, you want to pay me? Great. I cannot take your money. <laughs> so put your wallet in the drawer, lock it with the key, and give the key to the crocodile to keep. <laughs> so nobody can touch your wallet. I cannot take money from you. I don't want your money. All I want is to give you information. And in exchange for my information, you'll give me your time to listen. That's it. That's a deal. I give you information, you give me time. That's a deal. And now you know how to get the people to say yes. Then you need to qualify them. Make sure everything qualified. Live transfer will verify that it's qualified. And then on the same day that the appointment you set for, we will go to the customer's house and call them to say we are on the way. And if they let us come in, that's a confirmed deal. And if they are not answering the phone or if one of them is not home, or both of them are not home, then we don't go. Now, many times, even after they say we'll be home, one in three we'll is not home, or not enough, or not enough time, or then not both of them are home. So it's a long process. 
But in order for you to do your part, you need to be extremely good at what you do. And that means practice every day as a speech. Practice every day overcoming objections. Getting instant feedback on what happened when you call. Getting instant feedback from the live transfer. Instant feedback from your managers. And this way you learn to do it and you will be successful that way. So, if your day is always divided in two quarters, and every quarter you do a few minutes of talking to everybody, and every time, every day people practice, then you'll do fine. And when I say you do fine means you will do fantastically well because 98 will say no and 2 will say yes after you fight. Okay? Questions? No questions. Either you didn't understand ever anything or I am so good that everything is so perfectly understood. Yeah. Like no, guys, don't be shy. Okay. <clears throat> Well, thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Thank Let's you. take good care of business. All right? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you.